This film represents countless shooting hours, the cast and crew's blood, sweat, and tears, working under the most stressful and sometimes inhumane working conditions, both due to man-made environmental factors way beyond our control. With that being said, we're giving away this little movie for free. That's right, for free. You can stream it or download it. It's yours to own. Heck, make a meme out of it. That would be fantastic. Screen it, play it for your friends, love it or hate it, that's entirely up to you. Do whatever you want with the movie. If in the event that you do like this movie and would like to show appreciation to the filmmakers for a fine piece of cinematic work, or at least for their attempt to do something different, it would be much appreciated if we could humbly ask for a donation of any amount, whatever you deem is worthy of this film. By doing so, the filmmakers can continue making films like these in the future, only bigger, bolder, and better, just for your entertainment. Films that are different, edgy, experimental, new, and not afraid of tackling topics that are often shunned upon by the status quo. We love movies, we love indie cinema, and we love telling stories to an audience. If you do like this film, please log on to ChasingFireMovie.com and donate. Thank you so much, and we hope you enjoy the movie. I used to like watching people. Now I've forgotten how it is to observe them. From a distance, all I see are blurred murky figures engulfing and consuming one another. It's not that I've become self-centered or immune to their whims and egocentricities. I just need to focus on my life right now. I feel as if I've abandoned myself for a long time. Some of my soul is tearing at the walls of my flesh, begging for attention. I need time to heal and correct all errors, and maybe find peace. When I was four, my grandma told me a story of a young moth who fell in love with a flame. Night after night, the flame danced for the moth. She gave him warmth and protected him from the darkness. In turn, he flew around her, admiring her intensely. They were safe that way, but the moth wanted more. The moth loved the flame so much that he couldn't live without ever having touched her soul. Until one day, the moth manages to persuade the flame and take him, so that they will be free, together, forever. She flickered brightly. The moth closed his eyes and joins the flame, glowing warmer and warmer. The moth crackled and popped, and with his last breath, the moth whispered, You're beautiful. In that few moments of glory, they were one. I guess, like the moth, I got a bit too close to the flame. I used to like watching people. Or maybe I just pretended. I didn't do it. It's not that I object to murder, especially my husband's. It's just that murder is so messy. When I woke up that night and saw his mangled body lying on the ground, I felt so unburdened, so blessed. Does that make me a bad person?
I wanted to make love to whoever killed him. I wanted John's last few moments alive to be spent watching me spread my legs for his murderer. God, I hated him. I hated him for how much he hated me. He hated everything, in fact. I think we hated his house, his really job, did. everything. But the only thing he ever loved was his booze. <laughs> Spared no expense. Probably drunk. Die. Uh, Probably never I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My husband is dead and I'm sorry. Oh, God! It actually sounded sincere. Well, maybe it was. Oh, I think I want to see my husband now. I want to see his body. Where did you take my husband? I want to see him. I want to see my husband now! God damn it! Oh God! John! No! No! Well? What did you think? I, I know it needs a little bit of work here and there, but I was good, wasn't I? I still got it, don't I? I think I was amazing. Uh, wrinkles, bad, saggy. You know, sometimes I look in the mirror and I don't even know who that woman is staring back at me, drenched out of her youth. You look fine. Liar. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Just kidding. I swear the guy up there is punishing me. No one else ages this fast. Mom, you're beautiful. I used to be. I love you, Kristen. Are you going somewhere today, or are you planning to stay in the house all day? I'm hang out with Megan later. You know, I honestly don't know why you still hang around with her. I'm just saying, she can be such a bad influence on you at times. She's fine. If you say so. Um, zip me up, will you please? Where are you going anyway? Well, if you must know, I have a date. A little bit of schmoozing. And who is it this time? Rob. I mean, Henry. He's a nice guy. You're gonna like him. He makes mean sushi. Yeah? Well, tell him to keep his dragon roll to himself. Kristen, I swear. And don't forget to bring rubber. Just in case. My God, who are you? You're nasty. There will be no schooling in this family. We're screwed up enough. Okay. So, how do I look? You forgot one though. Oh! Right. Got it. Yeah. The... Now? You look amazing. We did a good job. Not.
So, how are things with you and your mom? Oh my god, this is so cute. We're doing okay. She's auditioning for yet another play. Still trying to relive the good old days, is she? What's it about, anyway? Some rich widow killed her husband. We should totally go. It'll be fun. As a DMC. <laughs> this look good on me. That looks really cute. You're not gonna try any? I'll pass. So we're good tonight, right? Nine o'clock? Huh? Kristen, my friend's band's playing, remember? You wanna hitch a ride with me? We can go together. I'm good. Connor's gonna be picking me up. Still hanging around with that douchebag? Hey, nobody talks about my douchebag like that. Got it? I'm so sorry. Best douchebag I've ever had. Why do we always fight? Hey, because you never I said I was fucking sorry. What else do you want me to do? Kristen, I love you, but I have to be honest. This is serious. You have to really listen, okay? Kristen, you really do have the worst taste in men. Oh, come on. You know how I get. I get, I, I got a temper. I got it from my dad. I get, I snap. I, I say stupid shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. S-O-R-R-Y. <laughs> that is not true. I'm serious. I mean, try to look back at all the guys you've dated and name at least one, just one, who actually treated you good. Who made you happy? Well, there was Julian. <laughs> Outside of bed? What was I saying? Okay, I got the point. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck? We're in the hot tub. Okay, you are so much better than these jerks. And Connor, a new low. I mean, you said it yourself. He's a pain in the ass. Just don't fucking look at me when I'm talking to you. A liar and a possessive prick. I don't want to fight with you, baby. You're like, you're like my best fucking friend. I'm serious. You're like the only one who understands me. Yeah? Well, he's the only douchebag I've got. It's a bad influence. Funny, somebody told me the same thing about you. Who? <laughs> that is such bullshit. You know, you should buy something. I don't have any money. Well... Feel something. Uh, see? Me? A bad influence? <laughs> <laughs> You're my little monkey baby girl. Hey. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I'm crazy. I know, but I love you. What do you want? What do you want? I want somebody who wants to be with me and love me. Okay. Not just someone you show off to your friends. Okay. And somebody to back until you find someone better. Who will probably be drunk. Because why else would she fuck you? <laughs> Wait! Hey! Come on! Why else would she fuck me? Fucking time is you fucking you four star cock I got from my pops, baby. That's fucking. Oh! 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 oh I love when you get violent! I love your violence. God, you make my dick Hello? Kristen, where are you? It's almost starting! Sorry, I got caught up. You better get yourself out of here, girlfriend, or I'm literally dragged and asked you. Okay, we're, we're on our way. Hurry up! <laughs> Megan's waiting. Better go. Oh, I hate you people!
So, why is this place called Noah's Ark? Because the old factory's just down the street. The sugar factory? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> but besides that, I believe that this is a place where people come to be forgiven. You know, to look for that little piece of redemption. You know, it's like we're all lost souls, stuck in this gigantic mess that we've made upon ourselves. Like a... bad-smelling vagina. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously. We've become so enthralled with the forces going on all around us that we, that we allow society to dictate the way we think. Always arguing with what's wrong and what's right. Shame. You know this. But tonight, anything is possible. For people like you and me, we come here to just exist. Totally, man. <laughs> 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 hey, man, you want some? Kristen, you want to go for a walk? Ooh, a walk. 
20 years I've known him, he's never asked me for Come a on, walk. Go. Now, I was in the sandbox with this kid. <laughs> hey, you want some of my beer? Yeah, you know I'll have. Thank you for some of your beer. You know, those two look like they're really getting along. I should probably put your finger in it. Put your finger in it. Yeah, just like that. I'm not jealous. I never said you were. So, how have I never seen you out with Megan before? My boyfriend keeps me on a pretty short leash. Short leash, huh? You're a dog or something. You know what you should do? Maybe you should bite it. Run away. Some little boy will save you. Take you home and ask his mom if he can. <laughs> Maybe I'll do just that. So, glad you came? I am, actually. So, Rockstar, what do you do when you not play music? Try and survive like everybody else. Music keeps me sane. Most of the time. I'd like to travel though. So you're the see the world kind of guy. Interesting. What about you? What do you like? I take care of my mom most of the time. She needs a lot of help. I love taking photographs. My dad? had this old camera. What do you like taking photos? People mostly. In black and white. Ah, black and white. Yet almost nothing is black and white. Especially people. Nothing is entirely good or bad. Just shades of gray mostly. You know. So, where do you want to go? My place or yours? I mean, we can travel the world. Machu Picchu. I would love to see the sunrise over Machu Picchu. Me too. Here's what we'll do. Let's make a pact. A promise. What's that? That we'll see the world. Together. It's a shame to waste a romantic sunrise alone. What am I talking about? You probably should do some ass at princess. Watch the sunrise with her. Won't even give me a second thought. Shane, I have another question. What would you do right now at this moment? Something you've never done before. But only you have to act quick. Because you feel time's running out. I want to kiss. Isn't it enough that I go to Machu Picchu with you? Jeez, you men just can't.
goddamn it, Chris, and I want to fucking know what were you doing with that motherfucker? I'm just what were you doing with that Nothing. motherfucker? Nothing. I'm just talking huh? to him. You were just talking. You were just talking under the fucking stars, having a fucking romantic ass okay. moment. Do I look fucking stupid to you? Huh? Yeah, Look at you now, you're gonna fucking cry. Tell me the fucking truth! What were you doing with him tonight? I was doing less with him than with what you were doing with that crack whore in that club. <laughs> the fucking crack whore! Let's go, baby. Let's fucking go. Oh, I'm drunk. You've had enough. Did you understand? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are a fucking bitch, is what you are. Fuck you! Fuck me. That's yeah, right, fuck baby. You. That's right, fuck me. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> fuck me and nobody else, baby. Nobody else. Why are you making me so crazy? Why are you making me so crazy? Huh? Why are you doing that to me? Huh? Huh? That's all again. Give us the end of the week, and after that, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I believe this boy is in dire need of a pedicure. <laughs> Climbs. Damn, some pretty feet, boy. You like that, eh? You like that, eh? Come on, sing for daddy. Come on, sing for daddy. No! No! Come to Pepe. You see this? You see this? You see this? Next time, I take your kidney. You understand me? So how was this week, Cynthia? Good. I've got news. Okay. They found my son. Here. Hey, he's a good looking kid. Congrats. How are you feeling about this? I don't know. Excited, I guess. Relieved. But mostly scared. Mm -hmm. Confused. I don't know how he's going to respond to me. I'm scared of what he might say. There's so much I want to tell him, I wouldn't know where to begin. How is Kristen handling it? I haven't told her yet, but I will. It's just that I haven't had the chance to talk to her. She hasn't really been herself lately. Yeah, give it time, kids. Why do they always say that? So what? You just said, give it time. Why do people always say that? Why do you think people say that? One night was all it took for my life to change. It set things in motion at the time I wasn't even aware of. If I could undo them, I would. If only it was that easy, but nothing ever is. I guess it is actually where it all began. The next couple of weeks were a blur. Shane and I have been secretly seeing each other behind Connor's back. I didn't really give a shit. I was happy. This friend, whenever he'd get upset, he'd go out and get some pizza and put ice cream on it. Said he saw it in a movie once. Never got around to trying it though. What do you do when you feel totally unoriginal? Do a little soul searching. Well, you're an artist, right? You like taking photographs. 
So don't you feel like everybody else sometimes? A lot of times. I feel boring and uninteresting. Yeah, well, you know, most of the time when I'm around other musicians, I get really nervous because I feel like I'm not good enough. That's why when I go up on stage, I try really hard not to screw up. And so, I don't know, music's my sanity, so I work really hard on it. Think about your competitive advantage. There may be a lot of good musicians, but you're way harder than most of them. And you give women nervous poo. <laughs> so wait, you're saying I give women nervous poo, but I'm not good enough? Needs a little work. Here ah, there. I'm gonna bite you. No. I swear to God, I'm coming over there Shame right now. used to come up here all the time when I was a kid. Dad owned a little house across the lake. We'd come here almost every night just to catch fireflies. What was your life like? Normal. Maddeningly, frustratingly normal. But I don't see him that much anymore. Family. Hey, did you know that a female firefly chooses a mate based on patterns of light that the male firefly emits? So pretty much, if she likes what she sees, then she sends back a pattern of light specifically designed just for that male. What do you think about that? I think you're an expert already. So, now that we're here, all alone, away from everybody else, what do you want to do?
see you with this bimbo. Kristen. I mean, I knew you had an interest in ancient ruins, but I didn't know you wanted to date them. Okay, so I have some wine here. Oh. Look, I know I haven't always been the best mom in the world, but I love you. Both of you. What do you mean, both of us? You tell him. Shane, she's your sister. So you can't... If, if you... Well, wait, how did... Well, wait, you never... I couldn't... But it... How could you do this to me, Mom? I... Of all of this time? Why now? Okay. This is how it happened. Where do I begin? Oh yes, I was young wide-eyed and reckless. I was going after my dreams, going for the gold, and nothing was going to get in my way. But one day, when I caught my idiot father beating up my poor old mom, I bashed his head with a crowbar. The son of a bitch wanted me institutionalized, so I figured it was a good time to pack up and leave. I ran so far away that day that when I finally stopped to look back, everything was a blur. It was as if everything that happened that led to that moment never existed. And for lack of a better term, I felt so fucking alive. In my whole life, I only loved two men. There was George, your father, and your father, Frank.
everything was all too real. I was young, wide-eyed, and broke. Shane, I did what at the time I thought was right. I never meant to hurt you. All I wanted was a better life for you. I thought of you every single day. And I vowed that one day, when everything was better, I would look for you. I met your father, George. I had moved to Quezon City after being kicked out of the theater group. George was the perfect gentleman. He took his time with the whole courting process, but he did a good job. I guess you could say we were soulmates, destined to be together. George gave me what Frank never could, money. Yes, it was desperate times for me, but that doesn't mean I didn't love your father.
in nature. Thank you, Lord, for giving this all to us. The sun is so sharp against my eyes. on my back? I picked these for you because I thought they were the best. Still shooting in black and white? Not today. Yeah. Look, not yet, man, but I'm working on it, all right? Look, I'll call you back, all right?
don't know. I've never seen them before. ago, I found out that my kid brother Paul's kidney was failing. The doctor said that he needed a dialysis. A dialysis, too. I understand how much a dialysis costs. So Shane helped me out, but we weren't able to get enough money. Then we meet this guy who says he offers to pay for the kidney as long as we did him a few favors. So we do a couple drug deals, boost a few cars. We were desperate. It turns out this guy never planned to give us a single cent. Whatever money we thought was going into my brother's kidney was going up his nose. He set us up so that we could take the fall. That's why the guys at the bar are after me and Shane. Can you tell them all about the guy who ripped you off? He's dead. Died of a heart attack two weeks ago. Son of a bitch left us with all this shit. What about your brother? His kidney's gonna fail. If we don't... If we don't come up with enough money. Megan, I need your help.
show you my life. Kristen, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. on with you. I know it. You have to tell me. What is it? What is it? Nothing. It's just... Have you ever felt excited, nervous, and get butterflies? Only you don't exactly know why? That's exactly how I felt last night. When I had a serious craving for a fruit pastry cup. But when I opened the fridge, it was empty. It was like a desert in there. But this is good, sweetie. At least you have something to look forward to. Hmm? By the way, you and Shane getting along? Yeah. Why? Oh, nothing. I just found you to be a bit snobbish during our little trip to Punta Fuego, that's all. If I was, I wasn't trying. I just had stuff on my mind. But are you really trying, honey? Because I really need to make this work. Isn't it a little too late for you to start playing mom? He already has a mother. I know that. And I'm not trying to take him away from her. I'm not trying to replace her. But there's always hoping. Finally. Mmm, delicious. Mom? Oh, have you ever... To die for. Oh. Can you not do that? You sound like you're having an orgasm. It's so good. Here, try some. Okay. You're right. It is good. Told you. Anyway, what were you saying, honey? Nothing. Come on. Tell me. I'm all ears. What would you do if you wanted something really bad? And it made you feel good. And acting on it would mean turning away from certain things. And in the end, would it make you happy? I guess. I'd say go for it. You have to go after what you want. If you feel it's too good an opportunity to pass up, and if 20 to 30 years from now it wouldn't make a difference in your life anyway, then baby, by all means, jump right in. Don't be like this old hag with a life full of what ifs. Remember, when the universe is knocking on your door, answer it. says thank you. Someone loved you or something. Yeah, you'd love that.
Kristen, how are you? I'm doing okay. You nervous? Should I be? Well, I just figured that, you know, with you and Shane... I am. You know, Shane's a pretty decent guy. He just needs a kick in the ass sometimes. Why are you telling me this? Kristen, you don't have to hide anything from me. But I'm not here to babysit you two. For all adults here. So you caught us. Guilty as charged. Well, you guys making out last night wasn't exactly inconspicuous. But hey, life makes us do weird things sometimes. Things we didn't know we were capable of. Frankly, I can't believe I'm saying this, but whenever floats your boat, who am I to get in the way, you know? Fuck morality and fuck everyone who gets in the way. I'm just kidding. It's weird. Even after I found out, I just can't shake that feeling I have for him. I don't see him as a brother. I probably never will. God, that sounds awkward. Yeah, well, even I can't believe it. But all I can do is try to keep an open mind. It's a constant struggle. So, do you think it's the thrill of getting caught or doing something way beyond your capacity that makes you act on something like this? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because I definitely did not see this coming. Neither did I. So, Kristen, this, the idea of having a one-eyed and red baby scare you? Well, I wouldn't go as far as say that. giving you the grand tour. How'd you come up with all of this? Let's just say Kevin and I, we have our ways. That's what I was afraid of. It's not what you think, okay? This is totally legit. Alright, you really must know, a friend of mine owed me a favor, hooked us up with everything you see here today. Shane, I'm beginning to think I know less about you than I should. I'm the guy you made a pact with to see the world, remember? I didn't know I was making a deal with the devil. I promise, I'm not the devil. I do like his style, though. Alright, from now on, no lies, no pretending, no secrets. I didn't exactly tell her what it was for. So, you ready? For what? Well, we're gonna set sail. Tonight, we're gonna see the world. Well, at least what we can in one night anyway. Listen.
been shamed? I have not been shamed. Come here, I need to talk to you first. Wait. Come here, baby. I'm with someone. Oh, Jesus. Wait, get, get your hands off me. Just, just fuck off. Come here. I said through it. I said not. come fucking here and talk get to me for a goddamn motherfucking second. Hey, better do what you said, man. Yo, no, hey. hung nugget, please. Just stop. Quit it. Stop. Oh, quit it. I am not. Hey, let go. So back the fuck off. I'm going to hurt you. I will dump your body in the passive river, you motherfucker. Come here. Come to me. Come to me. Or I am through with you. Don't you fucking stop. understand? Why are you talk about him. He died when I was really young. I don't really remember much about him. I remember my mom being really happy. She couldn't make flowers bloom, but her joy was infectious. Everything changed after the accident. We spent a few weeks in the hospital, and when we got back, I knew the light had gone out on her. What about you? You happy? other, but this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Cynthia, I was gonna Shane, to... please, don't talk to me right now. I think you should leave. Where do you think you're going? I'm going with Shane. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Kristen, you are not going anywhere. Kristen! I don't even know where to begin. How long has this been going on? I, I don't know. A few weeks? A few months? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourselves into? What will people say? I don't care. Do you hate me so much that you do this to me? Christ. You were the light of my life. This isn't theater, Mom, and the light doesn't always shine on you. Are you on drugs? Is that what this is about? No! Well, that's too bad. So that would at least explain things. Are you saying that drugs would make all this better? Well, there's an idea. Maybe I should try some. I don't expect you to understand. Why don't you help me out a little? God damn it! Because right now, I don't have a clue! 
You are sleeping with your own brother. Don't tell me you're so screwed up that you can't see how wrong that is. I knew him as a man before I knew him as a brother, and I can't shake that feeling I had for him then. Do you have any idea how crazy you sound? Mom, I love Shane. Bullshit. I love Jesus, but I would never let him do me doggy style. But you would, wouldn't you? How dare you? Look, I didn't ask for this to happen, all right? But it did. Just as well as I didn't ask for every guy I went out with to be fucking assholes. Shane loves me, Mom. And, and he makes me happy. Have you ever heard me say that about anyone before? Ever? I think you should see a therapist. Fuck no! I'm only trying to help. Well, don't! What am I supposed to do, huh? Nothing. Nothing! Kristen, you know I've always been there for you. But this is too much. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have gone looking for Shane. Not knowing would have been better. But knowing doesn't change a thing. Not for me. You know I love you, and nothing's ever going to change that. This has to stop. You must end this right now. Do you understand? Huh? I was hoping you'd show up. What's up, man? Uh-oh, I sense drama coming. What happened to you? Long day. No, seriously. Still dating that Kristen? No, a little bit here, a little bit there. No doubt. How's that been going? I don't know, man. Shit's fucking crazy, you know? What about you? Thought you were moving. Yeah, a couple weeks. But I figure I need a fresh start before I fuck things up even more. But you'll come visit me, yeah? Yeah, of course. I had a fight with my mom. What about? She caught me. In shame. You know. In bed? Did she freak out? Did she freak out? No. She just bought us a couple of chocolate croissants and some lattes from Starbucks and told us she'd hope we'd have beautiful two-headed babies. Then she went to the hairdresser. Of course she freaked out. So what's the matter? I know you didn't come here just to say hello. Actually, I came up to tell you that I love you. So you're sleeping with your sister and you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her. I would have freaked out too. You told me to do this and that he was hot. I was kidding. Not about the hot part, but still. What is wrong with me? Come here. Come on. Come here. There's nothing wrong with you. You just couldn't stop your vagu from getting freaky with your brother's little pony. Everybody goes through this. God, I hate you. Oh, I know you do. Now tell me where it hurts. Megan's here for you. You know, growing up with you, I was always jealous. 
you always seem to know what to do, never back down, never quit. The thing with Paul, knowing that my best friend was with me, by my side, <laughs> I'd go on another mile. This business with Kristen, it's buttering you bad. I can tell. Anyway, I know you'll end up doing the right thing. Hell, you probably already know what to do. Shane! Kristen, look, I've been thinking. Shane, I love you. It's ridiculous, but I do. These past few weeks has been wonderful. And I love spending time with you. I just want to be with you. Shane, I'm in love with you. Kristen, look, you mean the world to me. And I love seeing you happy. And I've been thinking, trying to sort everything out, and... And? And everything leads me back to you. You scared me. Shane, let's get out of here. Let's leave everything behind. What are you talking about? Let's take the next flight to Machu Picchu. I heard the sunrise there is amazing. Are you sure? We've made love. We've been shot at. And I still want to be with you. What else do we have to go through? Come on. Machu Picchu, huh? Hell of a commitment. I've already made the commitment. All we have to do is make the reservations. Yes, I will go there with you. <sighs> Freaking stop her, you know that? <laughs>
Yeah. Kristen, can you hear me? Kristen! It's gonna be okay, baby. You're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. called me about two hours ago. I picked up, but she never answered. I thought she was just, she just might have accidentally called me, but that's when. That's when I heard screaming. something ever happens, but I just never thought that day would come and we'd actually have to use it. Okay! Listen! Either you're gonna get fucked, or you're gonna get fucked and you're gonna get dead! No, honey, take it easy. Shh, shh, you don't have to get hurt. You don't have to get hurt. You
choice. Right now, I don't have any other choice. You could always stay. You're a good kid. Hey, don't be too hard on yourself. We only go through this life once. You have to make the most out of it. This isn't really goodbye, okay? You just need to go away for a while. Sort some things out. I understand. You'll call me? I promise. Take care. It was a pleasure getting to know you. Okay. Cup with Grammy? Yes! Oh, I knew it! <laughs> Nothing could have prepared me for what happened. Looking back now, the events that took place keep repeating itself over and over again in my head. Nothing still entirely made much sense. But the thing I still can't grasp most of all is 
why me?